Good evening. Hi everyone. Good evening. Welcome to 6th, 7th and 8th channel of Baiju's. I'm your teacher Ankita and I welcome you all in today's class. I hope that you can hear me clearly and can see me clearly. I know, I know. We are just a little bit one minute late but we are here. Really sorry for the delay. Good evening everyone. Good evening. I can see so many of you are here. Awesome. How are you all? Neetu, you are new to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Hi Arshia. Hi Mayuri. Hi Himanshu. Hi Sanskriti. Hi. Hi Mega. Hi Rutaja. Hi Nishi. Good evening everyone. Hi Harshit. Bilkul Harshit. Session ko like karna hai. Hi Mamta. Hi Suchita. Hi Bob. Hi Jyoti, Shubhra Jyoti, Rajeshwari, Akash, Neetu, Kriti. Okay, nice. Thank you for asking everyone, even I am good. So how are you all? Bhadiya sir. Where is your guest? Yes, we have your guest with us. Hi Megha, you are a new student. Welcome to the class. Hi Sonia. Hi Abhinav. Awesome. So, I, oh, oh, are you all ready? Yes, are you all ready? I'm good. Thank you for asking. So, what we have in today's class is something really very interesting, right? It's all about the body movements, not just in humans, but in animals also. So, what we have today is that we'll be focusing on the body movements that happens in our body. And then, of course, we'll be quickly taking a look at the different movements that we have in the animals also. Now, this chapter lays the foundation that you will be learning more and more in your upcoming classes. So, this chapter becomes really very important, right? So, I would request all of you to have your notebook, your pencil or your pen, so that you can note on all the important points that, you know, we'll be discussing in today's class. Thumbs up, everyone. Come on. Give me a thumbs up and we'll start the class, right? Yes, yes, yes. Hi, Aisha. We don't have Menti today, Himanshu and Siddharth. Yes, sir. Yes, Saroj. Menti nahi aaj. Menti nahi hoga. Aaj sab theory session hai. Menti will have it in the future. Right? Awesome. So, now that you are clear with this, let's quickly take a look at what all we'll be learning in today's class. So, we have the movements and the locomotion, movement in animals, then we have skeletal system, joints, movement in plants and movement in different organisms. So we have split the chapters, right? We have split the chapters into six topics and we'll be looking into it. Okay? Now before we start, we'll just wait for one more minute, everyone. I just need your one more minute. You will give your teacher one minute, right? Yes? Just need one minute of yours. We will wait for our friends to join till that time they are joining. Let me quickly talk about the Baiju's. Keep out Shala. So on 14th of November, which is the Children's Day, me, Tarana Ma'am and Ashwara Ma'am will be coming live. And of course, we have an interesting, interesting things that we have planned for you. Okay. So please do register yourself, right? Definitely there are a lot of information there. And you can click on the registration link. You, know, you can fill it form. And definitely you can, right? You definitely will be able to participate. So please watch out for this session. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It is there, Mim. Uh, Kezo. Mega Kezo. Yes, Kezo. Neetu, my name is Ankita. Yes. Then, of course, you know that Parents Club is really approaching. It's there tomorrow. Cheta Ma'am will be coming and will be having a webinar where you, your parents actually can participate and you can make sure that your parents are participating. Do tell them about this webinar. There's still some time, ask them to register for it, right? And Chetam Ma'am will be talking about the curiosity, right? It's a very, very important topic. So please make sure you ask your parents to register for it. Link of all of these is in the, in the description below. And it's absolutely free. Apart from that, everyone, this is what we are very close, right? We have to reach 50k really very soon. So we need your help with that. Okay. Now are we ready, everyone? Yes? Okay, now I need a thumbs up. Promise everyone who are, who all who are very new to this channel, right? If you are new to this class, if you're coming for this class for the very first time, my name is Ankita, right? And if you're new, please, please take a moment and subscribe to the channel, right? Where we have interesting, interesting sessions. Yes, 
वेरी गुड माई नेम माई फुल नेम इज अंकिता शर्मा मेंटी नहीं है आज सुब्रज्योति आज मेंटी नहीं है गुड इवनिंग शाइनिंग स्टार गेम वर्ड गिविंग थम्स अप तनवी सिंह हाय हाय ओके एवरीवन फाइनल थम्स अप यस प्रभो देर इज अ लिंक यू कैन डेफिनेटली चेक इट आउट राइट और इफ वॉच आउट फॉर द सेशन यस वेरी गुड अभिजीत क्राफ्ट विद किया शाइनिंग स्टार यस Prabodh, uh, you will have all the informations, right? You will have all the informations for it. Very good, everyone. Okay, let's start. Now, what we have over here? Oh, look at this beautiful eye, right? Look at this. What we have is a beautiful eye, right? Something is happening in the eye. Okay, please watch it carefully. Now, what we have over here? Snoring. Prabodh, please, you can check the link, right? and you will have the information very good very good blinking right and of course we can see the person is sleeping and kind of breathing yes yes a is saying very good okay so okay which part of your body is moving of course we can see that right of course we have different movements that we have yes we are inhaling and exhaling so scary is it the eye part right it's very close up so what we'll be discussing about right we will be looking into the first first topic that of course we have and that is of course a movement versus the locomotion now can you tell me what is a movement and what is a locomotion yes what is movement and what is locomotion anyone we don't have menti divyansha today we will be having menti after we finish of the whole chapter come on everyone what is movement and what is locomotion Okay, waiting for your answers. Yes, yes, yes. Very good, everyone. Please write your answers. Right? When we move something, right? When we move something, that is the movement. Locomotion is something when we change place. Let's look over here. So the activity that we saw, right? The breathing, right? And of course, the closing of eyes. the act or the process of moving a body part is called as movement so this is movement right see you're raising your hand putting your put uh, putting your back your hand in a normal position you're doing like this you're doing dance right all of these are the movements but if i move from this particular place to back right that is called as the locomotion everyone are we clear with this see we have the definition over here Please note this down. You can take a screenshot also. Very good, everyone. Very good, Anjali. Very good, Akash. Very good, Vivek. Very good, Prabodh. So, Brujoti. Yes. Hi, Dhyanshri. Very good, Aditya. Very good, Divyanshu. Upendra. Yes. Now, locomotion is something that we have to do with the movement. We will see that there is a change of the place. See over here. The bird is moving. Right. So of course when we change from one place to another from if i'm standing over here i'm jumping on the other side that is the locomotion so locomotion is a change in the position of the organism are we clear yes okay everyone repeat after me this is what this is the movement yes this is the movement but if i move from here if i move here that is the locomotion clear yes quick thumbs up it's a very very important question right usually asked in the examination two marks man it's the foundation of the body movements very good good evening monica welcome to the class very good everyone super proud of you now of course see over here now what is happening ta ta or uh, just like us okay maybe yeah like this right maybe now i'm walking towards him and he is walking towards me yes Now what what is happening over here? Which part of the body is moving? Can you tell me? Just the legs. What do you think? Just the legs. Oh, of course we can see the hands are also moving, right? Yes, see hands are also moving. Hands and leg. We walk usually like this, right? So the important thing that comes that outer me when we see we can see the hands and the leg, but of course very good Rakesh. there are muscles also right there are muscles also that are present 
and when all of it comes together and they all of it work like a best friend and they move together what we see we see the movement happening or the locomotion happening yes so in the movement in the humans there are very very important two parts Ooh. is it not okay cast right but over here what we have is a skeletal system and the muscular system so we have the skeleton right that gives us framework a very very important question that why the skeletal system is important it gives us a framework right it actually helps a muscle to attach it helps in the movement right it helps in moving the whole body and it actually helps us to perform various activities so when the skeletal system and the muscular system comes together we will be able to do lots and lots of things agree or not everyone so in movement in the humans becomes possible with the help of two systems muscular system and the skeletal system very good yes protecting the soft internal organs framing of the body very good upendra aditya jyoti yes giving shape also absolutely correct yes devyanshu right everyone so we are clear with this thumbs up thumbs up i would really encourage all of you to give the thumbs up or a smile if you are clear with the concept okay now that we are clear with it we will not be able to have the muscles as per se in the class but we can have definitely the skeletal system right now let's welcome our guest of honor oh right we have a guest tara everyone okay he is a little bit shy right he is not basically there is no gender of it but yeah this is but he is a little bit shy And in the shyness, we have something fell off. Okay, so everyone, can you see this? Tada! So we can say hi, right? Hello, everyone. So he is here, or she is here, or it is here, right? And of course, <laughs> awesome! I can see so many of you are here and really excited for the skeleton. Boot, mm, yes. looks funny right yeah it looks funny yes <laughs> awesome so everyone i hope that you can see it right so of course this is a skeletal system on to on to these only the muscles will attach right and all of this the muscles are there and of course that's how we able to move i'm sure we can feel right i'm sure you will be able to feel your muscles yes very good it's not real Yes, a guest is here. Yes, ha, huh, dance bhi karwayenge. Definitely, will will ask, will request the skeleton to dance also. Yeah, it is made up of plastic. Okay, everyone, come on. Are we clear with this? Come on, come on, come on. Now we are clear with the skeletal system, right? Let's understand more about it. Now, what I will do over here, if you can see, right? We have this, right? And I will leave it with this. so you can definitely come back and see the very very important thing that we have that we have to make sure i hope that you can see this right yes bhagav bhut ko nahi nahi we will be learning along with him <laughs> yes so just give me a movement and we have it over here and if we have something which is kind of plain we'll have it over okay okay right largest bone yes now let's start with it so what we call this as right what we call this as come on everyone come on come on come on we have very we are very short of time right yes my name is ankita and what we call this as we call it as the skull right now skull is very special now of course it protects our brain right and of course it has the jaws attached to it and of course your mouth Okay, so that's a skull. Very, very important part. Can you see this part? This part. One minute. I need one minute. Just give me a moment, right? I think it'll be better. Just give me a moment. So I think we can do some wonders. Okay. Now let's present it. Yes, everyone. Now I think we'll not have much of the distraction. 
right okay now this is a skull right and if you turn it back can you see this these are the shoulder come on everyone you have to say yes this is a skeleton everyone right and over here what we have we have the shoulder bone over here and of course this is the scapula this basically a blade like structure very good very good the smallest one of course we have into the ear will not be able to see it over here then of course we have the hand okay how many of you know how many bones we have in hand yes how many bones we have and what we call this as hi mahendra welcome to the class yes what we call this bone as i can oh i it's is it how many bones we have in the body very good now okay you are mentioning about this amazing everyone right yes humerus very good humerus then we have radius and ulna in your textbook everyone they have mentioned about the carpals so the carpals are the bones that we have in the finger right over here right carpals metacarpals phalanges very good arav very good everyone total number of bones in the body awesome so you guys are already there right so the, the guest is really very happy now what about the leg okay which okay before we go to the leg right tell me this part what is this part called as and why this is really very important can you see this cage right please karthik ask your doubt please write your doubt over here tell me everyone very good jyoti very good arav yes very good anjali harshit priyanshu now can you tell what is the function of this rib cage now it has some really very important organ very good aditya it actually help in protecting the lungs and the heart right yes very good and i'm sure you have learned in the respiratory system and i'm sure you must have heard it right very good that lungs are present and of course this rib cage provide the protection to the rib uh, our lungs and of course we have the heart also yes mahendra please write a doubt awesome okay everyone now the backbone right the backbone that we have yes it has the bones also what we call them as yes yes kiran we will discuss about it yes jyoti please write vertebrae very good very good arav vertebrae right sorry vertebrae so we have right and these will be joining together and they'll be forming the backbone and you know that backbone is really very important yes very good spine right we can stand straight because of this backbone if backbone is not there will be like this right we will not able to stand arnav okay sorry yes very good very good so uh on both the sides we have the lungs not on one side but we have it on the both the sides yes very good actually help us to stand up straight yes now let's move a little bit down right so these are the important bones which i already mentioned in your textbook we will be looking at the other things also right tejas you're asking which organ does not have bones just you think about it there are so many organs that don't have bones yes okay everyone okay now let's move to this part right the pelvic pelvis region right this that actually help us to sit and do so much more this part can you see right i hope that you can you you will you will be able to see this okay you're asking whether it's a men's skeleton no it's a plastic one no gender over here yes uh yes very good very good the vyanshu have said yes pelvis right now this is called as a hip bone also very good upendra now this actually helps in our sitting and of course perform lots and lots of our activity then comes the last part of the leg now i'm sure you're not able to see so what i have over here is a different parts of it see over here what i have is the okay which is the biggest largest bone in our body yes femur so what we have over here is the femur 
So this particular part right that we have is joined at the pelvic region and over here we have the kneecap which is attached to this. Yes? Very good. Yes. And there only. I think one of you were asking ma'am where will have the production of the bone marrow? Sorry, where will have the production of the RBCs in the femur? Yes. Very good. <laughs> See? So we have this right? Yes. This is the largest bone which is the femur. And then we have two other bones over here. And of course we have these. Right? Now, now this is for us to understand that where all of these is present. Yes, so Brajoti, kneecap of Athela, absolutely correct. Yes, so are we clear with this? Quick thumbs up everyone. Quick thumbs up. Yes. Very good, very good. Right? Everyone quick thumbs up. So we have a rough idea. Yes? So total number of bones that we have in the body? 206. And when we were a kid, right? You can write the answer in the comment section below. We have more number of bones. But as we grow, right? What happens? These bones come together and get joined together. And then the number reduces. Very good. Yes, Mahindra, we are just discussing that. Awesome. Very good, everyone. Very good. Yes. So we are clear with this. And we have discussed the names also. So again, I will just show you this. This is a very extra information that we have. I would request you to take a screenshot of this. Right? I'll just move this. Right? Please do take a screenshot. Right? Please do take a screenshot of this. Everyone, take a screenshot of this. This is the extra information we have, right? We, this is absolutely the extra information. Yes. Okay, everyone? Mr. Bhut is moving here. Yeah. Now, what we have over here is the different names of the bones, right? We have discussed about the bones, right? So if you want in future, if you want to know more about it, you can definitely refer to this image and we have in details and names. So it's extra information so will not be spending much time because I know that your time is really very crucial and this will not be coming in your examination. But roughly we have an idea about the rib cage, which is important, about the skull which is important, about the femur which is important, right? About the pelvic region, the carpals are bone that we have in the fingers, right? Yes, very good everyone. Pelvic girdle, yes absolutely Anjali. Anvesha, welcome to the class. Okay everyone, are we clear? Quick thumbs up or a smiley and then we'll move ahead to something really very important. We will call our guest back. Yeah, I know he's back. Right. His hand is moving. <laughs> yes, everyone. Okay, I love to see the thumbs up. Very good. Akshara. Yes. Hi, Shraddha. Okay, I can see lots of thumbs up. Crystal clear. Hi, Siddharth. Okay, motivational thought is giving thumbs up. Very good. Yes. Hyoid jaw, the hyoid bone right over here. The movable joint that we have. Where we have the basically this particular part, right? I'll show you again over this. This particular part. Right, the upper jaw where we have the tongue, right? That's those very kind of U-ish. Uh, shape. Sound is not clear. Everyone, I hope that you can hear me clearly. Yes, let me just check once again. Quiz aaj nahi hai. Let me just check. Yes, I hope that sound is fine, right? 
Very good, everyone. Sound is clear. Awesome. Thank you, team. Thank you, team. Yes, so we were discussing about very good. Thank you for sharing that information. Akash. So we were discussing about the bones now that we have an idea. Let's move ahead and let's discuss about this. So we know that, right, our bones approximately makes 50 to 15 to 16 percent of our body mass. Interesting, right? Yes, very good. Tejasvi, we don't have quiz today. We don't have quiz today, okay? Yes. Very good, Jessica. Welcome to the class. So, are we clear with this? Okay. Now, I'm sure in your textbook you have this table, right? I'm sure you have this table, everyone. Okay, let's do this and we'll understand more about the joints. Yes. Okay, everyone. Quickly, I need your help with this. So, we have the body parts, we have the neck, wrist. Finger, knee and ankle. Please do tell me which will rotate completely. Which will rotate partially. Let's do an activity and understand. Yes. Okay. What about the neck? Can I rotate neck completely, completely? Good evening. Good evening, Disha. Yes, let's start with this. Can we, can we rotate neck completely? Is it? It can go round also? No, right? So definitely no. It rotate partially. Yes. It can bend also. And it can lift also. So this, we can say a little bit over here. Yes. Very good. Very good. So this activity is there in your textbook. And it's really very important for us to understand. Right? Yes. Very good. So we are clear with this. Awesome. Now, does not move it, this is not. What about the wrist? Come on everyone. I'm sure this is. Now of course it cannot rotate completely, completely, right? Yes. Rotate partially. It can bend, it can lift also. What about the finger? Again, cannot. See, full rotation though is not happening. Yes. Then, rotate partially. Yeah, kind of, right? See, we can rotate it partially. Yes. Yes, right? See, we can rotate it. So, yeah, goes like this. Can we rotate our knee? We do that. We do the exercise in the PT, right? We do like this. We can do that also. So, if you mostly see, yes, what we mostly see over here is that we don't, we have majority of the bones that can rotate partially, right? We can bend them somehow. Bending is also kind of there, right? Not all of it will be able to bend. We cannot bend the wrist. Wrist, wrist per se, little bit movement is there. But it's not much. Knee, could definitely we can bend. You can bend your knees. Yes. What about the ankle? We can bend. We can actually move our ankle. So this actually helps us to understand then what is the movement. Are we clear everyone? So what I would suggest that, again, you sit with your sibling or with your parents and try to fill this up. Okay? Try to fill this up. It will be interesting for you to try it out. Right? And see you how the movement is happening. You can actually try it with them. We, we did it in the class and you can also do. Now that we are clear with this, are you ready to call our guest once again? Yes, and then we will be looking for the different joints and their movement. Everyone, yes, I hope that your focus is here in class. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Yay. I'm sure all of us are really excited, right? So what we'll do, we'll go back and we'll discuss about the different joints now. Yes, so we have him here or it here. Okay. Hi. Back, back, back. Mr. Skeleton is back. Okay. Now, everyone, the easiest joint that we have is this one. Can you tell me which joint is this? It's over here at the elbow. It moves in front, like in up and down. 
right? It goes like this. Which joint we're talking about over here? Yes. Oh, sure. okay. You want me to name the skeleton as bunny? Yes. See over here, hinge joint. Very good. So we know that at hinge joint, we'll see the movement like this. Forward and backward. For, sorry, forward and backward. Yes, the hinge joint. Okay. There's one more joint that we have. Right, this is important everyone. So this is very important hinge joint. Now, in the shoulder, which joint we have? You know what? We can actually rotate its arm like this. Okay, it just came out. <laughs> but we can rotate, right, the arms. What do you think? We can rotate, right? Very good, the ball and socket joint. See over here? Ma no, 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 Blackberry, it's not real. So, hati nikal gaya tha, but gaya. I know, toot gaya tha, but up its spine. Dwaras a fix ho gaya. Yes, so we can rotate, we can do this. Okay, how many of you do this activity in your, uh, you know, in your PT classes? You do this as an exercise also. So, we can definitely rotate it. So, it's a ball and socket joint. And you know what? You can actually make it at your home. What you need, in your textbook, they have mentioned an activity. You need, you need a bowl, you need a ball. Now, I have made this ball with the papers, rough papers. What we have, we have to fix it in the center. And now if you see, it moves like this. Right? It moves like this. Basically, we need to put a little bit stability and yes, very good everyone. So this is of course a ball and socket joint. You can definitely make it at home. Tell your parents, tell your small siblings, right? That how it is working. So we have the ball and socket joint that actually help in the full complete movement. Two joints are done. Hinge and the ball and socket joint. Moving ahead to this one. Pivot joint everyone. Oops. Gave a sound but don't get scared. It's perfectly fine. Left and right. Left and right. Up and down. Right? We can do this. And it can rotate also but not fully. Which is that joint? Yes, Tejasvi. It is present in the hip region also. The bone which is connected to the femur. It is a ball and socket joint. So that's why you'll be able to move that thing. It's bone plus Y. <laughs> yes. Pivot joint. Absolutely correct. So we have the uh, we have the hinge joint. We have discussed about ball and socket. We have discussed about the pivot joint. The one which is there in your textbook. And super important is something in your skull. Okay, look over here, right? Do you think, think that the skull is moving? I can't move the skull, right? And of course, our skull is kind of very stable. Which joint we have in our skull? Yes. Very good. Yeah, it's immovable. It's immovable joint, right? It's a fixed joint. Because it's very, very sensitive. It's very, it's protecting the brain. That's why these are not moving. They're very, very fixed. Okay. I think someone asked about the hyoid bone, which is there. Below the tongue, right? The tongue bone also we say. That's U-shape. And this is the upper jaw that we have. Okay? Nice. So in our skull, we have the fixed joint. Now, there's a very interesting question which I can see. Ma'am, where we have the saddle joint? So here. See? We have the saddle joint over here. Ta -da, in the thumb. Try it out. Lots of functioning and happens, right? Yes. Very good. Very good. I would request all of you to focus in the class. Yes. And moderator, please do take care of the content. Yes. Thank you so much. Very good. Everyone, are we clear? Clear, clear, clear. Clear is crystal. So we have four different types of joints that we have over here. We have hinge joint, right? We have pivot joint. We have ball and socket joint, we have saddle joint, right? And we have, of course, fixed joint also. Which one is in our wrist over here? Saddle joint also over here. Yes? Very good. Please write it out. Please write it out. We'll discuss about them. So let's start with the hinge joint. So the hinge joint is present, right? Between, right over here. And of course, it's the Back and forth, back and forth. 
Right, everyone? See over here. It's present in the elbow and in the knee. No issues. Bivantu, welcome to the class. Parvot, just give me one minute. We'll discuss. Harshit, we are repeating it all again, bachche. We're repeating it again. Everyone, are we clear about the hinge joint? Yes, so we have the hinge joint, which does the movement in the back and forth, back and forth. Very good. Then, of course, we have the next joint, which is the pivot joint, right? Which actually help us to move our neck front and back, side and side, right? Yes, so it's allow the movement forward and backward and left and right. Yes, so we have the pivot joint, okay? You can take the screenshot, of course, right? And you'll be able to remember it. Yes, then, of course, we have ball and socket joint. Which, of course, allow the movement in all the direction. We have it in the shoulder and then, of course, we have it in the hip region also. Yes, very good. Very good, very good. And to answer your question, Parabho, the uh, in our wrist, of course, we have this joint, saddle joint. Can you see over here? And, of course, it has in our uh, thumb also, right? Very good, very good. So, it's there in the pivot joint only in the neck. Yes. Which, okay, again, this way you're asking very interesting, which organ does not have a bone? Think about it. We have different organs, right? Which organ will not have bones? Interesting question. You know the answer already. Yes. Very good. We want to have just answer. We have the pivot joint in the neck. And over there at the back, we have the vertebrae, right? Of course, but it basically the movement happens from here. The joint that we are talking about in the neck is a pivotal joint. Ha! Ah, the organs which does not have bones, we have so many organs, right? Awesome! Easy question, right? Now let's move to the next joint, which is a fixed joint. Which we have only and only in the skull, right? We have it in the skull. And of course, it's there and of course, it's a fixed joint. Yes. No movement will be happening. And this is the immovable joint. So, are we clear? Can you quickly recall all the joints? We have hinge joint. We have saddle joint. We have fixed joint. We have ball and socket joint. And then we have the pivot joint. Clear? Yes, love the energy in the class, everyone. Super proud of you. Yes. Rib cage. So, yeah, we have 12. Okay. And 12 on one side, basically. Yes. Everyone, you can help your friends out here. Right. Very good, everyone. I hope that everyone is ready. Now, I have a very interesting question for you. Yes, very good, very good. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Shining star, you're talking about the uh, sliding, sorry, gliding. So, basically, it's there in the wrist. Like this. Ma'am, lower jaw is movable. Yes, this part, right, that I'm speaking, this part. See over here? This part is movable. Okay, everyone. So, can I, are you all ready to for a question? Yes, I hope that all of you are ready for a question. Here we go. Interesting question we have over here. Now, everyone, can we quickly match this up? Quickly, quickly, can we match this up? Yes. So, let's say bye-bye. Mr. Skeleton will go now. Right, he'll take some rest. He, she will take some rest. So, yeah. Ta-da! So, we have it. Okay. Very quickly, everyone. A is which joint? Of course, A is a pivot joint, right? That we have in the neck. B over here is the ball and socket joint. And over here is this particular joint. Hinge joint. Yes. Awesome. Right? So, awesome everyone. So, we have, we are done with this. So, we have discussed about the body movements. We have discussed about the joints, right? 
and we are almost done with the human movement. Right, we are almost done with the hum human movement. There is one interesting thing that we will be discussing about is the role of muscles. So we have our muscles, right, and our muscles contract and relax. I am sure you have seen the rubber band, right? So what we see, we see the contraction and the relaxation of the muscles. And once that happens, of course, it is happening along with the help of the bones and that's how we have the movement. So muscles are really very important. Okay, everyone. So over here, very brief summary we have that how the muscles actually help in the movement. They are attached to the bones and they help in the movement. Yes? Very good. Now, yes? Very good, very good. Okay. Now tell me one thing, very very interesting thing that our bones are really very hard, right? Do, what do you think? They are really very soft or they are hard? Yes? Come on everyone, what is the type of bones we have? Do our bones are really very tough or very soft? Yes? What do you think? They are very hard, right? So, when we talk about the bones, right, they are very hard, but, but, there are do you think we can have some bones which are very soft or which are there in our body? What about this one? Yes? What about this one? Yes, right over here. Shining star, yes, it is present in, the, uh, in our backbone also. They are present in our ankle joint also. Right, shining star? Yes, it is there in the backbone. It is there in our wrist also and other parts. Okay? Very good. Yes, the correct answer that all of you are giving is the cartilage. So we have over here the cartilage, right? And of course, definitely it's not a part of our skeleton which is very hard. But this is really very soft. And it is present over here, right? At the ear lobe that we have, right? It is present in our nose also over here. And of course, between two bones also, it provides a cushioning effect. It actually avoids the friction, right? Yes. So we have cartilage which is not so hard as bone, very soft. Right? So this is very important for two marks. Awesome. So we are done with the human parts, right? We have 15 minutes, but uh, you know, Ashwarya ma'am has a class. So what we'll do, we will quickly look into the animals. Yes. Awesome, everyone. So I hope that all of you are clear. Hi, Papia. Hi, Harshit. Yes. Very good. So Diksha, sorry, Diksha, the friction is something, of course, you'll be learning in your physics. But for example, uh, let's suppose if I have these two, these two things, right? Let's suppose that these two are bones. Can you see there is a sound, right? You can hear the sound. Do you like the sound? What do you think? The sound is disturbing or it's okay? And what will be the effect of the sound if they keep on rubbing on the quality of this, right? So similarly, our bones are also like this, right? They need some space between them. For example, now if I keep a piece of paper, what will happen? See, there is no sound. Right? So what will what is happening? We are actually avoiding the rubbing of the bones. They will not get damaged. And of course, we will be able to walk very aram say. The bones will not pain. The, the joints will not pain. During, uh, if you see the older people, right? They have pain in their joint. Because the cartilage which is present over there, the fluid that is there, go, get reduces with the age. Okay? Yes? So I'm just explaining you why the cartilage is important, not the friction per se. The opposite force that is there when you're walking something that is a friction. Okay, everyone? Are we clear? Yes, Teju. See? Uh... As you could have answered, we have a bone that we have in the ear stapes. It's the smallest bone. Relaxation, uh, Rajeshwari, basically, for example, uh, let's suppose you have a rubber band, right? You expand it and you release it back. 
so once you're losing all the force right that you, that's there's no pressure there's no force you're applying it is there in a relaxed position that is a so our muscles also do does that if they're working for example if i'm pulling something like this there is a contraction and when i release it there's a they're coming to their normal position very good awesome so are we clear with this very quickly everyone in 10 minutes we'll be learning about the different movements that we have in the animals clear everyone a final thumbs up and we'll be finishing our our, our session yes 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 how is the energy harshit the hinge joint is present between our over here in our elbow and our knees also yes very good okay so let's talk about the locomotion of the different organisms you have different animals right yes and of course we'll be looking at the movements of this we are starting with the plants right i'm sure you must have seen the plants right the flowers will bloom right and of course we'll see the uh, touch me not plant if you touch it the leaves will fall so of course we see these are the few movements that we have in the plants and i'm sure the famous sunflower it follows the sun right so we see these small small movements in the plants you will be learning in your higher class that what is the reason behind this movement but as of now you remember these three examples first of course blooming of the flower then you if you touch the plant which is touch me not you will see the leaves will close and of course the famous sunflower it just follows the sun yes right yes very good now if i ask you what is a stream line body yes chui mo yes chui mo plant yes now talking about the other organism let's talk about the fishes and the bird like this right stream line body is something that which is pointed at the beginning right and it has this particular shape this shape basically helps the birds to fly and fish to swim so i'm sure if you have seen the divers of the swimmers right when they jump into the water they will do like this right they will do like this and then they jump basically what they are doing they are basically cutting the water this is how the water is being cut and that will give them a chance to move ahead yes jyoti over here we are discussing this is how the streamlined body looks see over here the this the pointed part yes to cut up the water and to move ahead uh raji the divers does that so that they can cut the water off and they can move ahead right they trying to basically copy the fishes absolutely correct amandeep so now that we are clear with this now that we know what is streamline body let's look into the detail of all of this okay let me quickly take you to this see over here what we have i'm just moving aside see what you can see birds right and how they fly and they fly really very high right they fly really very high they fly like an aeroplane right basically the design of aeroplane was taken from the birds and the other animals that we sorry the other organisms that we have right we get all the inspiration of the designs of the nature itself so what is happening over here is that birds are flying right we know that that birds have hollow bones see our bones are definitely very heavy heavy right can you lift your bone like this you will feel oh my god it's really very heavy but the uh, the bones of the birds are very hollow they have basically the spaces right they have these air cavity that's why the bones are very light they have a streamline body that actually help to you know help them in flying and they have feathers right and of course they have those tiny small legs all of it contributes in the flying right this is really very important and of course the extra addition that we have that actually makes very very important is the what we call them as the feathers like the limbs that they have and of course the feathers are on top of it yes are we clear everyone are we clear yes submarine uses the design of a little bit design of the fishes absolutely correct wings right absolutely is it 
Uh, Pappy are the shape, of course, they communicate in this particular way. Raji, humans cannot fly because we have a heavy bones and we don't have feathers that can actually support us. We cannot fly like them. For sure. We don't have the body structure. Our body is really, very really heavy. Awesome. Now, how many of you like an insect called as cockroach? Ooh. I'm sure there will be <laughs> lots of fans of it. Tell me, how many of you are fans of cockroach? <laughs> yes, Marani, because humans don't have wings. <laughs> yes, so cockroaches also have a very, you know, they also have a not very, not exactly pointed body, but they have a little bit of a streamlined body, right? And of course, they have wings. And of course, they have three pairs of legs. And they're very fast. I'm sure you must have seen, right? They crawl also very quickly. And when they fly, I'm sure um, we just become a little bit scary. It become a little bit scary. And we just, oh, please do not scare us. Yes. So, of course, for the um, cockroaches, they can fly as well. And they can walk also, right? They have the legs and they have the wings also, right? If you can see over here, we can see three big pairs of legs. On both the sides. Yes. Okay, now everyone. See, look at this beautiful, beautiful fishes. Now, if you look at the shape of these, right? Can you see? Right? So, this actually help. Now, in your textbook, everyone, there's very interesting diagram that we will be looking into it. Yes. They also have a streamlined body. And, of course, the locomotory organ is the tail and the fin. So, this is from your textbook only from the CBSE textbook, right? What it does, first they move their body like this, a curved part, then the tail will go. This, this is how they move, right? And this is how they will be cutting the water and this is how they swim. So very easy, right? Very easy for us, we can show this. So basically what they does, they does this, right? It does this, this and this is how they fly. Sorry, this is how they swim. Now, all cockroaches do not fly. Given them a chance, they might. <laughs> Santosh, we will be discussing about that in a bit, Bachche. Right, everyone, are we clear? How the fishes swim in the water? Yes, 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 tell me, are we clear? Very good, everyone, I need your thumbs up. Few more minutes. Thank you so much for being there with us for a, such a long time. Clear, right? I hope that all of your doubts are getting cleared. Very good, very good. It actually helped to overcome the water resistance also. Absolutely correct. So they have a very amazing and streamlined body and they keep on, you know, pushing the one body and then this. Da -ra -ra -ra. We have the steps also. I'm sure if you're in dance team, you must have done this step. The wavy step. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's talk about the best friend of, of our farmers. Right? Earthworm. See? So basically they have those muscles and the bristles, right? If you see the... Sorry, uh, over here. I'm sorry. You, you must have seen those small... Like they will crawl like this. Right? One like this, they move. So what they do basically, they just push the muscle. They don't have bones, right? Earthworm don't have bones. So what they have, they just drag themselves and they throw like this. Like... Start. Like this they move. Yes, yes. And of course, definitely, they actually help the farmers, right? And they're really very good for making the manure. Yes. So, definitely, uh, they have the locomotory organ, which is the muscle and the small, small bristles that they have. Nice. Helps in vermicompost. Very good, Anjali. Yes. No, they don't have. Like, like us, the color definitely is not there. Earthworm don't have. They just have the muscle that actually help them to move. Yes, yes Rajiv, so what they do, they put the pressure right and they remove the soil and they keep on doing it and then they go inside. Yes. Okay, how many have seen the snail? I'm sure you must have seen the snail, right? 
again similarly if it's raining around your area right you will see a snail they're very very soft right they're very soft and they will have the you know the shell at their back again they don't also have the bones right they use the muscular part of their body to move Akash, we will not say this, right? We are a student of biology. All animals and plants are equal to us. And it could be that you don't like them, but let's not use that. Yes, they might be scary, but mm, let's not. We all are biologists, right? Yes, I'm sure you must have seen it. So they have the muscles, but they don't have any bones. And they have an outer shell. And of course, they have a very, very, very strong muscular foot that actually help in the movement yes and everyone now comes everyone favorite tada snakes now now snakes are one that we are kind of afraid of right because we have heard that snakes are poisonous so we have the snake now snakes slither this is very interesting right yes i'm sure you must have seen snake slitherers Ding, 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 like this. <laughs> now, of course, they have a very flexible, long backbone and there are muscles which are interconnected to it. So basically, when they all work together, we'll see the movement happening. Yes, yeah, they have bone. Snakes have bone, right? Of course, they have a very long, flexible backbone. Yes, Raji, they are. They are um, useful. Snakes are really, very really useful. Okay, everyone. So, if we quickly recall, we have discussed about the snakes, earthworms, snails, birds, fishes, and uh, yeah, and cockroaches also, and insect also. So, we now know that how these organs move, sorry, how these organisms move and what are their locomotory organs. Yes, so snakes are useful because, right, they actually take, if they are in a farm, right, they take care of of the growth of the rats so they usually eat the rat and rat damages the farmer the harvest that is there right so in that way they are very helpful in the environment not all snakes are poisonous majority of the snakes are not poisonous right or not venomous right they don't have the very uh, that they don't have the venom that can kill the individuals only few snakes have a very strong venom yes very good. So, are we clear with this, everyone? Yes, one more minute, everyone. I think we need to wrap up. Ashwarya ma'am also has a session with you. So, are we clear with this? Quick thumbs up, everyone. And I have few more questions and then we'll wrap it up. Yes, awesome. Thank you for your support, everyone. You're such an amazing, amazing students. Okay. Now, we have to match. See, we have the locomotory organ and we have to match with the cockroach, bird and the fish. Okay, so let's say A, B and C. One, two and three. Can you match it up? We don't have menti today. We will be having menti in the next week. Okay, everyone match. So A will be matching with the three, right? It will add the, yes, it will add the, see? The fins and the tail. Then let's see the cockroach one. See wings and the legs. And of course, we for the bird, we have the wings. Yes, very good, very good. So with this, we are done with our session today. And here is a quick summary. I will not be spending time on the summary. Right, we will be doing more sessions on it, so don't worry. You can take a screenshot of this. Do take a screenshot of this. And yes, we will be meeting again. And there's a very interesting homework question for you. I'm sure you can try it out at home and you can share it. There's a link that right there is a Google form below. You can uh, upload the images over there. So what you need to do, you need to make the different joints with the help of the household item and share with us. See, I have done over here. It's there in a textbook also. See, this particular joint, you just need a cylindrical, right? You can make it from the chart and have a pencil. So, the movement is happening like this. Do make it and do share it with us 
and of course we'll be sharing it with all of you yes yes Neetu please tell you what is the doubt okay everyone so we'll end our session I hope that all of you will write will share your working models with us yes and let's quickly talk about the anti examination the last date is for the 9th uh, sorry 13th of November so if you still haven't registered please do register yourself right and of course you can definitely improve your English by enrolling yourself into the English spoken classes, right? We have it over here. It's on all the grades 6, 7, 8th and 9th. So, please do register yourself, right? Very interesting classes we have. Very qualified teacher. And as we all say, we have got you covered. And if you have enjoyed the session, please make sure to join the Telegram, right? We always share the session updates, session notes. Yes. Please do join the telegram and hit the like button and share with your friends. Please write it out, Mahendra. Disha, please write it out. Right, I hope that everyone you have enjoyed the session. And if you are new here, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, everyone. I know that I'm a, a little bit short of time. Those of you who have doubts, please write your doubts in the comment section. I will be replying to your doubts. Okay, deal. Deal, deal, deal with you. Okay, everyone. So, I'm just ending the session with this slide. And please write your doubts in the comment section. I'll reply to it. Vedant, you, all your doubts are welcome. Please do write. Okay? Yes. Ending the slide with a summary, everyone. Do take care of yourself. Keep yourself healthy. And keep on learning with Baijus. Bye-bye.